It's not an instantaneous moment or a word that can synthesize the love that grows between people. Love when you have it, it's a lot like this. It can't be summarized by a bunch of other words. It's greater than one action or one moment. <laughs> it is, however, a knowing smile, a little or big laugh, and a serious sense of family that you build together. In this way, the two of you are very much the same. I want you to know that <laughs> it still feels like we're on a first date. And I don't know how you make me feel that way. I don't know why you still laugh at my jokes and make me feel so special every single day, day after day. I don't know how you do it, and I want to, <laughs> you to always do that. You know, Kyle is, is a little bit of an onion. Um, you know, Kyle loves the pats, you know, you talk to him, he's a real guy's guy, but you peel back some layers, and he knows every fantasy novel out there. Is really into like reading about vampires and like stuff like that, which I, I find. Well, most of you know Kyle, know what a great guy he is. He's generous to a, to a fall like his mother, great athlete like his dad. He's a loving brother, uncle, and a dedicated friend. <laughs> oh my god, you look so beautiful. <laughs> Wow, dude. Yes. yes. <laughs> All of the penny. <laughs> what makes you both fit together so well is not just how you're the same. It's where you're different. Your commonalities are always going to be the roots of your relationship. But your individualities, those are going to be what allows you guys to branch and blossom together. Keep nourishing that. I wanted to make our vows short and sweet because that's all you really ask for during our wedding planning process. <laughs> <laughs> when I sat down to write our vows, I still found myself to be hesitant in saying it all out loud. Even after five years, I'm still afraid if I say too much, if I really let anyone know what we have, I might jinx it. I can't believe this day is finally here. Being here in front of you with all our family and friends makes me feel like the luckiest man in the world. I promise to always be your best friend, to love you and support you. I promise to always appreciate you when you do those same things for me. Through thick and thin, I'm always gonna have your back like I know you always have mine. I love you so much. So proud to call you my wife. By the power vested in me by American Marriage Ministries Online, and greatest privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. You can kiss the girl. I want to talk about middle kids. They are fearless, intelligent, smart successful, very, very good looking. You know, that's way too much about me. <laughs> Maddie, you are a special to many people. You're a wonderful daughter and sister and a loyal friend, an amazing teacher. You're honest and you're always the late for the party. Sometimes a little too much late for the party. <laughs> but we all know she gets there from her mother. <laughs> The minute I was born, Maddie looked up to my mom and said, she's mine now. Whether it was a bully on the playground or a broken heart, I could always count on my older sister standing right by my side. Maddie and I have always been mistaken as twins, but how could we not? We looked the same, laughed the same, and pretended to be most of our lives. Here's the thing. We sisters have big personalities, loud voices, and strong opinions. But no voice is louder, or laugh heartier, or will stronger than my sister Maddie. 
Maddie's favorite song when we were younger was I Won't Back Down by Tom Petty. This was Maddie's anthem on being a sister. She was willing to go all lengths to protect us. But Maddie never backing down didn't stop with her sisters. For as long as I can remember, Maddie has been working with children with disabilities, starting with me and Allie. <laughs> One of the reasons I know you two are meant for each other is because after she met you, home didn't mean coming back to us anymore. It's clearly whenever she is with you. When Kyle first learned to talk, he couldn't say Kevin and he couldn't say brother. So he just called me friend. And so he'd, oh, where's friends? What's friend doing? And I think that's a great foreshadowing for our relationship. Because obviously, you know, I can call him Kyle or brother today, but I certainly choose to call him my best friend. We keep hearing that today is going to be the best day of our lives but I find it hard to believe that tomorrow will be just as good because every day with you is the best day of my life. <laughs>